Hello again, beautiful artists, and welcome back to another episode of Paint Along with Sky. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sky, and I post beginning level acrylic painting tutorials here on YouTube every Saturday. So make sure to hit subscribe so you can join the fun and paint along. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. Okay, so happy almost Valentine's Day, everyone. I wanted to do a, a very appropriate painting for the upcoming holiday weekend. And I wanted to feature these really fun sweetheart candies, which I think are just really iconic and very visually striking. Uh, and I'm going to be kind of doing this inspired by Andy Warhol uh, with the different colors of the sweetheart hearts. And we're going to be using our standard canvas and materials today, but I also have a ruler. I have a clear ruler, but whatever kind of ruler you have works just fine. Uh, and also a pencil. So I have my three standard brushes as well for today's painting. So I got a big square brush, medium sized pointed brush, and a small a detail brush. Going to get those in the water cup off the side of the screen. And the colors that I'm going to be using for my background step to get started, I have phalo green, some cadmium red, ultramarine blue, and a little bit of bright yellow, as well as a fair amount of white. Uh, if you'd like to see a full materials list of everything that you need to paint along, go ahead and check the description box below. All right, let's go ahead and jump on in. So first off, we're gonna be breaking up our canvas here into quadrants. So I have an 11 by 14 canvas. So half of 11 is five and a half. Yeah, so we're gonna do a little hash mark there for the halfway mark. And then half of 14 is gonna be seven. So we'll just go here to seven. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use my ruler to create the quadrants for myself as well. And just try to get as straight of a line as I can, like so. And then my canvas is a little bit longer than my ruler. So I'll have to finagle. There we go. Make sure it's held down. And then all the way off the edge here. Okay. Okay, all right, let's go ahead now and just fill in these quadrants. I'm gonna be doing the top one here with light yellow, blue, and then green and pink. I'm gonna go ahead and use my big brush for this. And we're doing sort of pastel colors here, so we're gonna add a little bit of white into all four of our colors. Okay, and we're just gonna go into our quadrant a little bit of water always helps that paint go nice and smooth. And we wanna actually cover the sketch line just a little bit as we fill this in so that we don't see that pencil line anymore. Although if you see it a tiny bit, it's not the end of the world either. Okay, perfection is an illusion. Although for all my perfectionist artists out there, this will be a fun one because we have these Perfect quadrants, which are very satisfying. <laughs> All right, there we have our yellow. Rinsing my brush. Okay, I think I'm gonna do green next and go diagonal here, kind of going from light to dark. It's a little too dark. Love that turquoise color. That's my favorite color, which you know if you paint along each week. Okay, just like so, trying our hardest to create a straight line. Okay, and then we're just filling that in nice and even, a little bit of water, smooth brush strokes going up and down and back and forth. Okay, lovely. Just gonna Finesse that line a little bit. I'll try to get it as straight as I can without going too far over. <laughs> okay, well, we'll have another chance to make that even straighter when we fill in the quadrant next door. <laughs> All right, rinsing my brush again. And now I'm going to go into my top blue section. 
just blue and white together, same idea. Not too light because the pastel sweetheart candies are also pretty light. So do make sure you have a little bit of color saturation in there. Sort of getting into those Easter colors. Spring is on the horizon. Much to my winter loving dismay. <laughs> okay, I think I need a little bit more paint over here. Okay, and be mindful here not to blend your colors together too much. You don't want to pull the green all the way through the blue. You just want to have them touch just barely. Okay, pretty straight line there. Pretty happy with that. But now is your chance to get as straight of a line as you can. Okay. Looking good. All right, and our final quadrant before we take a little break and let this first layer dry is just going to be our pink down here in the corner. And that's just red and white together, real simple. We have sort of a rainbow of colors here and they very much um, paint along with sky colors, sort of in my logo, so <laughs> it's perfect. Got our primaries plus that phthalo green. If you'd like to learn more about color theory and how to blend colors and what colors go together, I have a course specifically on color theory, which is really great for beginning artists. There's a link to that in the description box below as well. Okay, trying not to pull my green too much through my pink there. If you need to use a smaller brush, go ahead and do that. If you need a little bit more control, Okay, and then just getting that pink quadrant all filled in as well. There we go, and refine my lines real quick, and we'll let this dry. Okay, last little finesse. If you use your brush, Use your brush like this, which is like how you get a nice wide brush stroke. But then don't forget you can use it as a narrow tool as well. Okay, and I see how I'm pulling a little bit of green through there. So I'm just gonna try to touch that up with some paint, but that looks pretty good to me. So let's go ahead and let this dry and then we're gonna come back and add a whole bunch more. So I'll see everyone in a few. Okay, artists, welcome back. We have a dry background and fresh colors on my piece of palette paper here, but they're actually the same colors that we had for the first step. So again, just some bright red, some of our phthalo green, a little bit of ultramarine blue, yellow, and white. Uh, I rinsed my brushes and got fresh water at break as well. Let's go ahead and jump right back into it. Okay, now for this step, you can either use your smallest brush or you can use your medium sized brush. We're kind of uh, jump back and forth between the two, um, but we're gonna be doing our actual candy hearts now in these different quadrants. And we're going to be doing the color of the heart that is complementary to the background. So we actually have complementary colors here uh, with our blue and yellow. And then we have them here too with our red and green. Technically it's, um, orange and blue, but more info about that on Color Theory 101 as well. Um, but let's go ahead and just start here in the bottom and you guys will see what I mean. So I'm gonna do pink here in the green section. And I think I'm actually going to go a little bit lighter than the background pink over here. Okay, because they're candy hearts, they're very pastel. Okay, and we're gonna do, I always like to start small, a heart here that's pretty 
basic. You don't want to get like too flowy because these are like mass produced stamped candies. So very straight lines on the sides here of the heart. And then you can either fill it in with your medium sized brush or your small brush. Okay, just like so. So if you are feeling impatient, you can grab that medium sized brush, really whatever you prefer. And we're just filling in the shape of that heart. And I think I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, but I always like to start with things smaller than I think I'm gonna end up with. That way it gives me some wiggle room for adjustments. Okay, and you're just going to try to finesse your way to as even of a heart as you can create. You wanted to use some sort of stencil here I won't tell anybody but we're freehanding it today okay and then just getting that filled in I think down here I'm gonna use my small brush and just clean things up a little just like so now I got a siren in the background. I had a dog barking earlier. <laughs> Apologize if you can hear those distractions. Okay. All right. That looks pretty good to me. Let's do the same thing again. I'm going to be doing it four times. And actually now I'm thinking I'll go up here so that I don't pull my arm through this heart down here. So. We're going to do yellow up here in our blue section. Fair amount of white here. A little bit lighter than the yellow that we used before. And we're going to try to do the same exact heart as best as we can. Four hearts of similar size and shape. I'm just going to go straight to the medium sized. A bit more white over here. I find that once I fill it in, it can be a little bit easier for me to see where it needs to be adjusted. Okay. Just getting that filled in. Went a little bit too far out there. So let's go ahead and just fine tune things as much as possible. Up and around. This is a little bit bigger now. I'm gonna adjust the other side. Looking down at my pink heart there. Trying to get the shapes as similar as possible. Definitely the trickiest step, I think. So take your time and don't rush. Okay, that looks pretty good. Kind of like the handmade feel, you know, of the true shape here. Gosh, I keep trying to straighten this one line. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna leave it. Looks pretty good to me. Now I see that my yellow heart is slightly bigger than my pink one. So I almost wanna take this pink down a little bit further too. The bigger the heart here, the easier of a time you're gonna have adding the letters onto it later. So I actually don't really want the small hearts. Go ahead and take this opportunity if you'd like to adjust and make them good size. Enough for some words there in the middle. Okay, it's subtle, but that looks fine. 
Okay, let's go ahead and move along. And let's do our blue heart now. Almost finished with this in-between step. I guess we're halfway there. It looks like I'm gonna need a little bit more white here in just a minute. And I'm just going in with my medium sized brush here and doing my best to match it to my other heart shapes. You can kind of eyeball, see like around where the point starts here. Okay, and I'm just going back over, correcting those lines. I think all four of my hearts are going to end up equally wonky, which is, they might not be perfect, but they all seem to be like a little right heavy. <laughs> it must be like how my brain just draws the heart or something. Okay, but that's okay. This is handmade, rustic style. Stylized, right? Okay. That looks pretty good. Pretty much the same size. Like a little bit further down here. Go. Okay, and our final color here. It's going to be our green, and I think I need a little bit more white. Okay. And final color of our heart today. Going to be our beautiful light green, a lighter shade than our green quadrant. All right. And our final heart here. Four for four. All right. Looking pretty good, trying to end it at the same level here. Okay. Just like so. There's the barking dog again. I apologize. My neighbor's dog. Okay, a little bit further out. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and let this layer dry for a little bit as well. Before we come back and add our final touches. All right. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think a little bit longer. All right. Feel pretty happy with those shapes. So let's go ahead and let this layer dry and then we'll come back and add our final touches. I'll see everyone in a minute. Okay, welcome back. I have a dry second layer and then I have the same colors still on my piece of palette paper plus a little bit of black. Let's go ahead and jump into our final step here, which will be our lovely little details and then also the words inside of our hearts. So we're actually gonna start with the words and we're going to just use red in our smallest brush. And you can write whatever you'd like in any of the hearts. This top one, I'm going to write XOXO or OXOX, I guess. XO. XO. And I actually see that this is going to be a little bit lopsided, but I'm going to kind of go with that because they get printed sort of wonky. And I think that's kind of fun. 
So XOXO. If you want, you can do one more X. <laughs> I guess I'll do one more X. Hugs and kisses, as many as you like. Hugs down here. Well, let's see. We'll do maybe a hugs over here. And we're just doing very straight lettering here. Nothing too fancy, just a basic type font. All cap, all capital letters. All about the same size, relatively thin. I think up here I'll do kiss me. Whatever you'd like to say, I'm choosing some of these sort of classic phrases. Kiss me. This one is a little bit wonky too. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. Cute. And then down here, let's just write the word love. L O V E. Very easy. Nothing is perfectly centered, and we're just going with it. Okay, very cute. Now let's do a quick little shadow on these candies. Okay, I'm gonna start up here in my yellow, but our yellow is not very dark. So I'm gonna grab just a pinch of red and I'll get this nice orange. And then we're going to go across the color wheel there to create a little bit more of a brownish yellow. So I just snuck in the tiniest bit of blue there. And just at the top parts here, we're gonna do two quick little brush strokes just like so kind of accentuating around let's do a tiny bit darker the yellow one is sort of hard to see which is where we're starting but you'll see a little bit better on the other ones yellow is not a very dark color so just make sure you get a lot of paint on there and so that ends in sort of a straight line there. And then this curve kind of flares out a little bit. Okay. Cute. You can work your way from the top down or from left to right, however you'd like. This red heart will be easy because we can just use red on its own. And a quick line like so. And then thin. And a little bit thicker on this side like so. Just making those look 3D. All right. Super cute. And then I'll do my blue. I'm just going the same size with each one. Super pretty. Okay. Final stretch here, everybody. And then just kind of trailing off there. I'm gonna grab a little bit of water just to make sure that mine is nice and smooth. It looks a little better. Okay, that one went a little bit further down than I'd like it to go, but again, no such thing as perfection. And 
I may refine things a little bit towards the end. Okay, and finally our green. Looking super cute. Okay. Just a little bit of 3D action here. Okay. And that looks pretty good to me. That is all the instruction that we have for this week's painting. If you painted along, I've created a Facebook group called The Art Club that is specifically designed for my students to share their work, whether it be from painting along with me or from their own studios or imaginations. We would love to have you join us over there. There's a link to join in the description box below. And I do hope you enjoyed this week's painting. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments section below. Happy Valentine's Day and until next time, stay creative.